welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. My name is Andrea. And today we are going to be showing you a game demo of Pharaoh's Gulo Gulo. This is a fun game by Haba. Um, it is 7 plus. Sorry, such a big box. <laughs> 7 plus. Um, you can play 2 to 6 players. It's going to take about 20 minutes. And we sell this in our store for $60.95. I'm going to post the link um, in the description box below on um, where you can find it on our retail store. Or you can come safe shop with us. 3029 at Lakeshore Boulevard West. Um, and yeah, let's jump right to the table and we're gonna show you how to play. So to set up this game, you are gonna place the board in the middle of the play area. Then you're gonna set up this mummy trap. So it comes with this little bowl that you're gonna dump all the boulders into. There are several different colors, yellow, blue, red, and white. Then you're gonna place this stick right in the center. And in the bottom of this bowl, there's a little divot where you can put this stick into. Then you're going to have your player pieces. So Andrea in this game is going to be pink and I'm going to be gray. They come with six because obviously it's a two to six player game. And you're just going to place these at start. And then you have these tiles. So the light ones are the desert tiles. So first we're going to have to go through the desert. And then when we enter into the tomb, these are going to be the desert tomb tiles. Okay. So you're going to randomly place these all along the board. Now the mummy, he is going to start here. And he is going to be moving. So once we get into this area, I'm going to show you. Um, the mummy will be moving. And we want to avoid the mummy because he is going to eat our scarab bugs. And that's going to be this little pile right here close to the game board. Every time you land on a spot that has a scarab, if you successfully complete it, you are going to collect one bug. You can only have a maximum of three at a time. And to enter into this tomb, you're going to need to pay two scarab bugs in order to enter. Once you enter this mummy tomb, when you complete both of these um, tiles, you win the game. Okay, so let's set you up and let's play around. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to play. So right now me and Andrea are at the starting point right here. So the first player has to move to the very first spot, which is this guy here, and you're going to flip over the tile. So it is blue. So that means I need to pick a blue ball out of this mummy trap, which should be really easy because I see a nice one right here. And I have successfully completed my turn since I collected the blue without the stick falling over. So now it's Andrea's turn. Andrea has two options. She can either go to the same space that I did with the flipped over tile, or she can go ahead of me and flip over a new tile. So she's gonna flip over the new one. She flips it over and it is yellow. So she has to pick out a yellow. Perfect. And then we're gonna, the game does come with this little red bag. We're just gonna keep the balls in there. So now in my turn again, so you can either go to the next unflipped tile or you can go to any tile on the board that's flipped over. So I'm gonna go here. And I have to pick out another blue. Ooh, that stick was moving. Okay, so I successfully did it. So now it is Andrea's turn. And it's white. Okay, so now this next space has a scarab bug on it. So I'm going to go there. Now, if I successfully complete this, I'm going to be able to collect a scarab. So I need a yellow. And I picked one out and put it in the bag. So now since I have done that, I will get this scarab bug. So Andrea is also going to go try to get the scarab bug. She successfully did it, so she's going to put a bug in front of her as well. A red. Perfect. It's Andrea's turn. She has to pick out a red. All right, perfect. So now we just completed the whole desert. Um, so now we're going to be moving through this and going to the other side. Now this side is where the mummy is going to come into play. Let me just move the board down a little bit. So I'm going to flip this over and I need to pick out a white. Oh, so the stick fell out. So since I was on the other side, I just need to go back to this entrance. Now if we were on this side, I would have to go back to the start. But since I was on that side, I just have to go back there. You're going to reset the mummy trap just by pouring all the balls into the bag. Again, giving them a good little shuffle, putting them into the bowl, and then placing the stick back into that little divot that's in the bottom. Oh. There we go. So since I tipped it over, it's going to be Andrea's turn. And she's going to go for the white. There you go, and she gets to collect a scarab. So when I was on there, when I tipped it over, I didn't collect my scarab because I didn't successfully complete the tile. But I'm gonna go back 
and I'm going to try to do it because I want to collect my second scarab as well. So I did it. I put it in the bag. So now I have two. Again, the maximum scarabs you're allowed to have are three. So Andrea needs to pick out a white. That is going to be quite challenging. So the rules of picking out of the mummy trap is you are allowed to touch other balls, but once you go for one, you have to stick with it. Okay, so this tile, I'll show you up close. There are two little mummy symbols on it. So that means that the mummy, which is here, is going to move two spaces in that direction. So it's actually going to be right there. The mummy is going to travel all the way through. When he gets to the end, he's going to travel all the way through again. If you land on a tile with the mummy, he's going to eat one of your scarabs. And if you don't have a scarab to feed him, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. So I need to pick out a red, which I did, and now it will be Andrea's turn. So the mummy is gonna move one, because there is a one symbol there, so the mummy will move there, and she'll pick out a blue. Perfect. So it's my turn, I'm gonna move to this space with a scarab. I need to pick out a blue. Mummy moves twice. Ooh, that was close. And then I get to collect my third scarab. scarab. So now I can't collect any more because I have the maximum. And now it is Andrea's turn. So the mummy is gonna move three. One, two, three. Oh, and she tipped it over. So Andrea is going to move back to the start of the tomb and she's gonna reset the mummy trap. If you knock over the mummy trap, you are the one responsible for um, setting it back up. So as you can see, I think it's just not there. Perfect. Okay, and then it will be my turn. So I, I don't want to move here because the mummy is there and he's going to eat one of my scarabs. So I'm going to go to this location, the mummy's gonna move three, one, two, three, and I need to pick out a white. I'm gonna grab the bag there. Andrew. Thank you. And then Andrea's turn. So again, she can move to any unflipped tile on the board, even in the desert or in the tomb, or she can go to the next um, covered up tile. It's completely up to her. Perfect, so she's gonna go there. The mummy is gonna move twice, so one, two, and she's gonna collect a scarab for being on that tile. Perfect. I'm gonna move here, flip this over. The mummy is going to move one, and I need to pick out a red. So now the mummy is at the end up here, and so now he's gonna travel back down. So Andrea picked out the blue, but um, she has the maximum amount of scarabs. She has three, so she will not be taking any. I'll go here, a red. Oh, so again, I can't switch. <sighs> I can't switch which one that I'm going for. I have to stick with it. Oh, and I got it out. Now it is Andrea's turn. So again, it's okay if the stick is like slanted like this, but it's only when it completely falls out is when you have to reset it. So I'm gonna go here. The mummy moves three, one, two, three, and I need to pick out a yellow. So again, Andrea knocked it over. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, was gonna collect a scarab but since she knocked over the mummy trap, she does not get to. And even if she did successfully complete that, she has the maximum amount of scarabs. She has three. You're only allowed to have three at a time. Um, so yeah, this game is a lot of fun for kids and their fingers are a lot smaller, so it's a way easier for them to grab the little balls. Or if you're a girl with like acrylics or like some sort of long nail, then I'm sure you'd be really great at this game too because grabbing the balls is like the number one strategy in this game, being able to not knock over the mummy trap. Okay, so since Andrew started back at the beginning, it is my turn. I'm gonna move to the next available space, flip this over, and it is yellow. I'll give that to you to put it in the bag. I'll take the bag, cool, thank you. And now it is Andrew's turn. So again, she's allowed to go to any tile that's flipped over, or she can go to the next 
available tile and sequins. But she is going to go for a yellow as well. I will go to the next available tile, which is yellow. Perfect. All right. So now, if you can see here, we have flipped over all the tiles and now it is entering into the tomb. So I'm gonna enter into the tomb. You have to pay two scarabs in order to enter. So I, I put my two scarabs in the bank. Now I need to successfully complete both of these at once in order to win the game. So let's see if I can do it. If I can't, then these two tiles get changed up and um, then Andrew, I guess, a try at it. So I need to take out a yellow and a red without knocking it over. So let's see if I can do that. A yellow and a red. Ooh, and <laughs> that was close, but I did it. So therefore I win the game. But again, if I never did, the game does give you several of these mummy ones. So if I never got it, you would take both of those away, add in two new ones, and then Andrea would get her shot at it if she was able to pay the two scarabs in order to enter. And that is how you play. And that is how you play Pharaoh's Gulo Gulo. I hope you guys enjoyed our tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. It would mean the world to us. And again, if you'd like this game and you want to pick it up, I posted the link in the description box below, or you can come safe shop with us. See you next time.